I don't know how many of you guys are tuned into a 3 p.m. soccer game on a Friday, but I am. Um, yeah, I don't have much of a life, but no, it's a big deal. It's the very first game of the Women's World Cup. It has kicked off. It is the home team of France playing against South Korea, and it is halftime right now, and France is up 3-0. Should be 4-0. There was a goal taken away. Um, VAR was used, and even the commentators agreed it was definitely not offsides, but regardless, France is looking super strong, very dominant. Um, a lot of their attack is coming from their center backs. One of their center backs did a bicycle kick, and uh, it's definitely not something that was in my toolbox as a center back. But that was very impressive. Just barely grazed the um, crossbar. But the center back, Reynard, who is 6'2", has scored two of the goals. She's the tallest player in this tournament. So South Korea just cannot keep up with her height and her uh, big head. Must be a center back. So uh, let's see if South Korea can put in any attack, but not looking too good. All right, France won that game. Shocker. 4 to 0. South Korea just could not keep up with them and their big heads. Uh, lots of headers in that game, lots of great goals. But that was the only game today. Sad. But there will be three more games tomorrow, starting off full day of women's soccer. I'm super pumped. Uh, starting out at 9 a.m. with Germany versus China. It's going to be a big time matchup. Germany is ranked number two in the world, right behind the U.S. But that'll be a really fun game to watch. So get your hungover butts out of bed or just open up your laptop and start st streaming. St streaming it. Streaming it uh, as I do because I have no cable and in poor. So uh, I'll <laughs> regardless, I'll keep you updated. And I promise to brush my hair. Maybe not. That's a tough promise to keep.